Hey, how you doing? Okay, it's snowing, right? Yeah. <laughs> but you want to start gardening like me. And so you know what I did? I built a mini hoop house or mini greenhouse to start my garden early despite this stuff flying around. So today on Garden Fork, how you can build one of these. Ready? Let's go. Make, six, grow, cook. Garden Fork. So my previous video about this, um, I had a hoop house that broke, re broke really nicely, and I asked people how do I make it better? I need your help. And tons of really constructive comments, and I'm gonna take those comments and apply it to the super duper mini greenhouse that we're gonna build right now. So I'm gonna disassemble this for parts, and then we're gonna go over here and build the new one you know, we'll try this and see what happens, which is what I and you are all about. Ready? Hello, my princess. How are you? Henry's 14, pretty much deaf at this point. Um, if you're watching this just now, we did just lose our pup, Charlie Pup. Um, a couple days ago. I'll be putting out a video, a little highlight reel of the Miracle Labrador. Um, anyway, that was a tough thing. So it's kind of neat to be out here because it's sun and I feel a lot better and I'm gonna be productive and build our hoop house. Let's go. So I want our mini hoop house to rest on the sides of the raised bed. So this is gonna sit right here. This is a 14 foot bed. This is gonna be an eight foot hoop house so there's one edge that's gonna go through the dirt and I'm okay with that, but I'm gonna measure out just to make sure how wide and how long I wanna make this, okay? Bonus, there's gonna be this really cool thing I'm gonna add at the end that's gonna make this so much easier to deal with because I've been dealing with hoop houses for, what, 20 years and then I had this aha moment. So at the end, the aha moment revealed. I've talked about this in my other hoop house greenhouse videos, but for clamping this all together, connecting it all together, use what you got, okay? I got these, some guy was throwing out shelves and the brackets were still attached, so I just, the shelves were junk, but the brackets were fine. These, they're kinda new, I used them on a project and it didn't work. These have, this is surface rust. This is rock solid, okay? These are totally fine to connect the bottom of your frame. Let's go. I actually like the shelf bracket. I think it's a better bracket for this kind of thing than your just hardware store right angle brackets, but I don't know, that's what I had, so that's what we use. Shelf bracket. old reused bracket. Done is better than perfect. I mean, they're brackets. They work. I'm gonna recycle the hoops from my last hoop house. This is half inch PVC that I bent to fit into our frame here. If you're starting with straight pipe, it's not too difficult. Basically, we're going to tuck it in here and then tuck it in there, just slowly. If it's warm, oops, the better. Just go, don't, just go. Pop it in. Butter. I'm gonna use three hoops and then on each end, which is gonna be kind of a newer thing for me, I'm gonna put plywood on both ends of this here. Um, this will all make sense as we go through this. So our plywood is for rigidity, but also to hold up our vents. These are really cool, they're a passive, solar vent, basically. Um, they open at about 50 degrees and they close at about 40 degrees. They're used to vent crawl spaces. I'll link below in the text below the video. You might have to click a little, um, that little down triangle to get the information of where to get these. But these have worked very well for me. I'm gonna put some on each end so we get the heat out when it heats up too much. So again, pilot hole. 
half inch EMT strapping here. I'm talking about pilot holes. Pilot hole is a little, a, a hole drilled smaller than the diameter of the screw to allow the screw to go through things like plastic or big pieces of wood. This is a very cool flip drill, is it called? A fit flip bit, but it's a pilot hole driller with a countersink, if you want to geek out on that. And then you can flip it and it becomes a Phillips or whatever head you want to put in here. I will link below to this cool tool, but that is what a pilot hole is when I talk about it. This is a pilot hole. If you're gonna to wanna to just drill through this plastic with a screw, you're gonna crack it. Pilot hole, then the screw, pipe doesn't crack. And that way you don't have to make another trip to the hardware store like I did. I have a whole video about how to cut plywood or how to cut wood. Um, the link will be below. End of the video. You'll learn. Pro tip, clamp both pieces of plywood together, cut once, and press down as you run the saber saw jigsaw. Press down, won't flop as much. That's me flopping. All right, our curves are cut. I remember as a kid, first learning how to use this. This is my dad's saber saw. So um, some of the techniques you just saw are the result of my dad and here. So thanks, dad. All right, the sun's starting to go down. I don't like to use power tools. I'm getting a little tired. So I'm going to go make dinner and then we'll come back to this tomorrow morning. Right, my princess? Isn't she beautiful? Come here, gorgeous. She is what we call very independent. Couple of caveats here. This is not the ideal plywood. Um, we're doing this during the virus outbreak, so we have to stay home. And I'm using what I got, and this will last a while. Ideally, it's painted. Uh, for the video, I just wanted to get this out the door, so I'm not gonna paint, I'll paint it later. But a weatherproof plywood is better for this, okay? And perhaps something a little thicker. But this is gonna work. It's gonna work, trust me. So this edge was a real problem in version, what, 3.0 or so? Is this 4.0? I, I lost track. But a couple of people had a great solution for keeping the plastic from ripping on that hard stuff. Ready? All right, so we need some hose to go over that plywood so it doesn't cut, right? And I'm like, okay, where do I have some of that hose? Then I'm like, oh. So you know those people have that immaculate yard and you're like, where do they keep all their junk? Right, you and me? Well, here's where I keep my junk. Yeah, don't look. But I have some hose, a treasure trove of hose I can cut up and I don't feel bad about it. Do not cut your fingers, please. So in the last version of this, this screw head would split the plastic. So a bunch of people suggested a covering and I'm gonna use the hose suggestion. Uh, tape didn't really do it, but just a piece of the split hose over that. This'll bend over time, it's a little stiff right now, but that is a lot better for the plastic. So take this and fold it under itself by like a by like two inches here, okay? And then this should go past this so you can wrap it around. Henry, watch out. Come on. 
If you want, um, you can run rope between these hoops if you get a lot of snow, because this, well, this kind of rope is a suggestion a couple people made, but tie it from here to here to here with cable ties. We don't get a lot of snow anymore, thank you, climate crisis, but um, if you go from here to here to here, about halfway down, maybe one third of the way down, it'll give some support to this plastic and it won't break on you. Right, princess? Ho, ho, ho. Circus talk. Um, it's almost dinner time and she lets you know right away. Uh, you don't need to watch me staple this all, but this just goes over the edge here. And look how it... That's a brilliant idea. Um, that way the plywood doesn't chafe, chafe it, rip up the plastic. But um, stick around, the magic moment is yet to come because I've been thinking about this for like a year. Right, Henry? So I put one of the vents at the bottom and the other vent at the top. And my thought there is, hot air rises, right? So instead of having two ah. vents at the top, you'd have a cold air intake and a hot air, hot air, hot air exit. Watch this. I hinged the other side of the hoop house. So it's easy to lift up. It doesn't blow away in the wind. Well, maybe not in the small wind, but you know what I mean. This is kind of, I love this. This is kind of like my ultimate hoop house. And I love that you came along for the ride. You want to go along for more of Eric's world? There should be some videos right here. More hoop house, inside Eric's brain, you know, that kind of stuff. More information about hoop houses, the video's right there. I'll see you in the next one. Right there.